A center that helps children here in Indiana is getting a makeover and a new name. It carries with it a lasting legacy. Yeah, Boone County's Child Advocacy Center is now expanding and is also taking on the brand new name of Sylvia Likens. Our Emily Longnecker tonight visited the center today about the impact this young teenager has more than 50 years after her murder. Emily. Well, John and Andrea, when people hear the name Sylvia Likens, what comes to mind is one of the worst child abuse cases in Indiana's history. Well, now her family is hoping that her name can take on a more hopeful meaning. It's being used here on this child advocacy center in Lebanon, where Sylvia grew up. It's a weekly ritual for Wanda and Alva Likens visiting this tiny footstone in Lebanon's Oak Hill Cemetery. Love you. Come to see you. Hi, Sylvia. And Sissy's coming Saturday, and we'll be out to see you. By all accounts, the grave is simple, unremarkable, really, until you read the name on it and realize it belongs to Sylvia Likens, the teenager who was tortured and murdered by a woman her parents had hired to care for her while they traveled with the carnival in 1965. The abuse started when their income that was to be sent for the babysitting was not received on time. Sylvia's death and the trial that followed became so highly publicized. Indiana law changed because of it, allowing for anyone to report child abuse, not just professionals. Some of the neighbors heard Sylvia scream um, and were too scared to do anything about it or just didn't get involved. We're about average, about two cases per week. Cassie um, Frazier witnesses the aftermath of child to, abuse right? every day. These children are coming in here telling us some very... Um, deep, dark, scary things. Frazier interviews children from Boone and Montgomery counties when abuse has been reported. Last year alone, we saw 199 kids. For the past five years, those kids have come here to the Boone County Child Advocacy Center. That name, though, is about to officially change and carry Sylvia Likens' name, and with it, the legacy she's come to represent for victims of child abuse. But by saying it's Sylvia's Child Advocacy Center, it's something that kind of sticks with them, her name. Um, even if they don't know her story, it's a name. The center's also expanding to include counseling. The most important thing we can do is tell kids that they are heard and that we are listening. And you are so loved. Something no one did for young Sylvia. Her family is thankful it doesn't have to be that way, though, anymore. And this center, now named for her, is one of the reasons why. She did not die in vain. She died a horrific death, but because of that, we're hoping that another child can be saved. And the renaming ceremony for the center is set to take place this Saturday here in Lebanon from 5 to 8. Sylvia's only sibling left alive, her older sister Diana, will be on hand for it. John, Andrea. All right, Emily, thank you so much.